And now it's time once again for Polly to fly off somewhere exotic and find a machine capable of getting her more excited than ever before. Yes, it's Polly's Techie Thrills, and this week our fearless daredevil has headed over to Greece. The Greeks have given us many great inventions over the centuries, and I come to Athens because I'd heard about a new machine that I just had to see for myself. So I'm here to see a car unlike any other, and I'm told this terrain is perfect for it. But where is it? Say hello to the Corra's Prototype 4. This is a car unlike any I'd ever seen before. Not only does it look futuristic, but its makers claim that it's a true all-rounder. Fast on the flat, but rugged to an extreme. To tell me more, I'd arrange to meet Manos, one of the team behind the car. Wow. Hello. You arrived in style. Yeah. Let's see what this can do. Manus. Believe it or not, the Chorus has something in common with the humble Citroen 2CV. Interdependent wheel suspension. And that's what makes it able to cope so well with this ridiculous terrain. When one wheel is forced up by a rock or a boulder, the others compensate accordingly. And with each wheel able to rise a whopping one meter, the Corus Prototype 4 can certainly cope with some pretty extreme surfaces. How easy is this to drive, Manus? Oh, it's extremely easy. It's like driving uh, your kids to school. <laughs> Quite a smooth ride to say that you're going up rough terrain, and that is what this is built for, and it chewed up the rest of the terrain. So, the chorus have proved itself emphatically off-road. Manus, good work. But what Manus and his colleagues are particularly proud of is the fact that it's just as good, if not more impressive, on the flat, as Manus was about to demonstrate. And this is something I would rather observe than actually test out. Manis, are you ready? Go for it! With a 7-litre V8 engine lifted from the Chevrolet Corvette Z06 and 505 horsepower, the Corus can reach 60 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds and has a top speed of 186 miles per hour. I reckon that's quite quick. Not bad, Not bad for a car fitted with tyres from a standard SUV. But that just goes to show it's all about the engineering. It's not about the tires. I was itching to get behind the wheel now, and thankfully the time had finally come. Manus told me that the Corus can scale steep inclines of up to 60 degrees, so set me the challenge of climbing this huge set of stairs. I don't know if this is a wise decision. Yeah, that's the perfect angle. Driving up steps was a truly bizarre feeling. This is quite incredible. But thanks to the Corus's shock-absorbing suspension and oscillation-reducing damper, I was climbing with ease. God, you can feel the power, though, the real grunt. I was so impressed with the Corus's performance that I just had to have another go. So it's going to try the angle a little bit further across so that it actually oh, walks better. a little bit more rather than bounces. Get it wrong, that's when it bunny hops. Get it right. And it's as smooth as that. <laughs> hey, Polly, how are you? Hi, Polly. I'm great, thanks, guys. How are you? Yeah, yeah good. Very good. Loving that vehicle. It reminds me of these little uh, remote controlled cars. They're called rock crawlers. Definitely. Loads of power. They can crawl over anything. But it's like a, a massive version of that. It's actually surprisingly smooth. You still feel a little bit of bumpiness, but when you imagine what you're going up and what the wheels and the suspension are contending with outside of the vehicle, um, it's a great ride. Well, it looked fun from here. I'm sensing you really like that, Polly. What score are you going to give this one? I'm going to give it 78. Oh, OK. Thanks very much. Thanks, Polly. Take care, guys. 78%. That's going to be near the top of our leaderboard, I think. I think it is. Have a look. OK, it's a climber. Fourth Very position. Good performer. Impressive. I have to say, I was impressed with it. Like you said, it looked like a giant version of an RC car. Yeah. Yeah, she was obviously very thrilled, and I was very impressed. Nice work, Polly. 